title of this course is A Grace Worth Saving, Evaluating the Doctrines of Grace. One of the things that we see in the course of history is that when Calvinism was fully developed, he, he narrowed tremendously the concept of grace. And in particular, one of the key ideas of Calvinism is that God creates all of humanity, which we would all agree with, but then only gives salvific grace to a very limited number of people. And we instead would hold to a broader idea of grace that God shows grace, even salvific grace, to all of humanity in, in some measure. And this is a, a big idea that changes how you think about God, how you think about salvation, and how you think about we humans and our response and interactions to God as well as the gospel. One of the most important things that I hope people take away is that this is not just dry theology. This is not some ivory tower discussion that has little to no impact on how we live our lives. This is a deeply relevant, deeply personal discussion that all of us should care a lot about. The views that someone holds on Calvinism or does not hold on Calvinism tremendously impact your view of God. And what we think about God and our understanding of God should color absolutely everything about the way that we live our lives. It even will affect more broadly how you read the scriptures in its entirety. So one of, one of the things that we do in the course is go through and look at how in Calvinism, often a lot is made of a small number of texts, and we go through each of these texts in the course, Romans 9 to 11, John chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 1. And much broader themes and much more distributed simple statements are generally neglected or even, I would say, grossly uh, twisted for the purposes of this broader theological system. And it has a tremendous effect because once you treat the Bible as a document that can be adapted for these philosophical man-made schemes, well then a lot of other passages that deal with obedience, say about not swearing oaths, about loving your enemy, well suddenly now because you have this, this hermeneutic, this way that you can read scripture to be adapted for your larger presuppositional frameworks, then you can now take that same scheme and then suddenly make some of the hard teachings of Jesus irrelevant or not to be practiced today. Uh, there's, there's so many more implications that we get into in the course and it's something that all of us need to understand well and have views about and be able to respond to effectively.